So this is problem set 30 from module 1. We're going to be solving some math stories. Jill was given a total of five flowers for her birthday. She put three in one vase and the rest in another vase. How many flowers did she put in the other vase? So we are trying to find an unknown number, uh, specifically this number right here, okay? So we know that she started with five flowers. Those are represented right here. And she put three of those five flowers in a vase and the rest in the other vase. So we're simply going to count on until we find the number five. So we start with three, four, and five. So our mystery number was two. So we're going to come over here and fill out our number bond because we started with five flowers and three of them went in this vase right here and then two of them went in this vase right here. And so we figured out that three flowers plus two more equals five and five minus three flowers equals two. So now we're gonna come down and look at this other problem. So Kate and Nana were baking cookies. They made five heart-shaped cookies and then made some square cookies. So we're not sure how many square cookies. They made eight cookies all together. How many square cookies did they make? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start off by finding our hole. So they did eight cookies all together. So that's how we know that this is our hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to draw eight cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we also know that five of those cookies were heart-shaped. Okay, and then some of them were square. So we're going to come over here and draw five heart-shaped cookies. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we know that of these eight cookies down here, five of them are hearts and an unknown number are squares. So we need to count on from five until we get to eight. I'm going to go ahead and let you do that. Then you simply need to take these numbers and plug them in in our number bond over here. So of course this number would go right here, this number would go right here, and our hole would go in the hole. And then of course we need to take our numbers and fill out our number sentences just like we did in our problem up here. Now, looking at number three, we see that we are supposed to be making our own picture number bond, kind of like this one right here. So they supplied it for us in the other two problems, but they didn't supply it for us here. So we should probably start by going ahead and drawing that. So let's come over here and we draw our hole and then one of our parts and another part, and of course we need to connect them to make a proper number bond. Now, it says that Bill has two trucks. His friend James came over with some more. Together, they have six trucks. So, once again, we see that our hole is going to be here, because it said together... 
So we know that that's going to be our biggest number, therefore that is our hole. And Bill has two trucks, and James came over with some more, so we don't know how many James brought. And so, of course, what we need to do is we need to take our hole and draw representatives, uh, representative circles in our number bond until we get to six. Then take the part that we do know and draw that in here. And then draw our circles in our other part until we get to six, which is our whole. Okay? And then you just take these numbers, these pictures, and turn them into numbers over here. And then fill in our number sentences, and of course, don't forget to fill out the blank in our sentence down there. Now, this one is exactly the same, except once again, they flipped the number bond on us, like in number two. So, all we need to do is flip our number bond as well. So, we're going to simply draw an upside down number bond, nothing too scary. And then take the numbers from here and plug them in. So Jane caught five fish before she stopped to eat lunch. After lunch, she caught some more. At the end of the day, she had nine fish. How many fish did she catch after lunch? Now, of course, our biggest number that we see is going to be our hole. So that's right there. And then we know at least one of our parts is right here and we're trying to find out how many fish she caught after lunch because it only says she caught some more so we're going to take the numbers that we do know and plug them in to our number bond and then count on until we find how many fish she caught after lunch and use those numbers to fill out our other number bond and all of our sentences.